do the whiskey vault? I'm Daniel. Rex, black bottle. A black bottle a gift from Paul Dwyer. Paul Dwyer, you magnificent. Bastard. Heart. Uh, so, mind blown. This bottle isn't ic actually black. Wait, what? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> what? <laughs> that can't be right. <laughs> I actually checked, double check. It could be no more black. So we've done black bottle. We've done the new black bottle and the old black bottle. We've not done this one. This is black bottle 10. Okay. Now this was, there was a window. So there was the original black bottle way back in the day. And like the 70s or something. The 1800s. Oh, oh I and, didn't realize it was yeah, that old. Gordon Graham and Company. Okay. And then it changed hands to Highland Distillers Limited. Highland Distillers bought the brands. Convert it to a blend of all seven Islas. Mm -hmm. I think this 10 year is from that time. I think this is from when it was still a blend of all seven Islas. Not entirely certain because right after that, it then got sold again to Burton Stewart. Yes. And they took all of the whiskey out of the Highlands, out of the Islas. And that's, that's what I mean. It's all Islas. Seven Isla distilleries. On the nose, multi floral ash. In which case, it could be. An Isla blend. Now remember, it is going to have grain whiskey in there. That shiny vanilla. But in in the order, the main things I'm getting are a multi note, a floral note. Well, actually, I'm going to do floral first. Floral note. Yeah, I was going to say a multi note. That sweet floral note is dominant for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Floral, then the maltiness, then the and ash. the malty. If you could say multi vanilla, then I could get all in on that. Um, maybe on the taste, we'll get more of a vanilla, but the sweetness is mostly presenting as floral. Yeah, there's the vanilla. With a little bit of a black pepper spice. Yeah. I don't think this is the one that was the blend of all the islas because there's not enough. It's it's the ashy. Uh, it, well, the ash is there, right? It's got this base of ashy. No, but it's 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 as much as like Johnny Walker black. Yeah, where it's, it's just a, a rich thick layer. Yeah. It's just um, there. I'm gonna, let's try the original, the other the current release of Black Bottle. Oh, fair enough. But they're outright saying has nothing to do with Isla other than has a little bit of uh, peat blended into it. Okay. No, it's not even close to the same. Wow. Not even close to the same whiskey. This is a sherry yeah. influenced blend. I'm not this getting is, any smoke, any ash, any... There's a little bit of an ash on the end of this, but it's so coated with all the sherry cask sweet notes. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, this is just a friendly, sweet little... Candy of thing. a... Yeah. This actually has... Actually more complexity. Some, some, it, it, but still, comparatively. And it's more in the bourbon-y vanilla, vanilla direction than in the sherry cask fruit direction. You keep trying to sell me all the vanilla. Floral. It's floral and vanilla. and yeah. That's yeah. bourbon cask direction. The vanilla bit's like... The, Versus the sherry The floral cask. bit's like this. Yeah. And then the, the vanilla bit's like, like this. And then... And then the ash bit is just... Ding! Ding! Right there. <laughs> Those are my... This is my Napoleon Dynamite Happy Hands Club tasting notes. <laughs> and then I get flavors of... Yeah. <laughs> the citrus and lots of vanilla. <laughs> Why is that so fun to do? It feels it's a good. bird! It feels It's a magic good. bird yeah. right in your face. Between the two. Yeah, the tin. It's just more interesting, man. Yeah, it's very much so. I wish it wasn't quite as low of a proof. I'm assuming this is in the 40s. Yeah, it's 43. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, for what the flavors that are in there... It's still good. It's nice! Do we know budget-wise how much this goes for compared to... No. No? Uh, it's hard to find. I, I tried to order that one for a long time and couldn't find it anywhere. Garrett Rain, Daniel and Rex is a throwback to your Ireland videos. Are we so far off the Ireland videos that it's now a throwback? It was July, like, June. It was... Uh, four months, just four months ago. It was a few months. <laughs> As a throwback to your Ireland videos, especially the Waterford with the terroir concept yeah. detailed in the farm to glass, uh, I have a question. Okay. Where can we find what Waterford sells? I don't see product. Is it they are still aging and don't have anything ready as of it? Yeah. Yeah, they are not even releasing. It's all four years old now. And it's legally whiskey in Ireland. And what we've tasted. Oh, so good. You're, even you're, at four. Yeah. It's amazing. No, it, you, it's, yeah, it's, you're good. Yeah. You're good. Eric, wait. For your information, the second D in Brooklotic is silent. <laughs> Such armatures. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> that's my favorite pronunciation correction ever. Yeah. Such, such armatures. Yeah, that's. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. 
The I, second DM Brook Lottie is silent. Everybody knows that. I, I'm comfortable being an armature. <laughs> what happens if you blend the sherry black bottle with the 10-year-old black bottle? I think you would rob this. Oh no, it doesn't actually. No, it's nice. It needs a, it needs a little bit more of the original the tin, I think, to bring a little more of the ash and vanilla back to life. But it works. It fills out the mid range palate a little bit, without becoming too candy. No, oh, yeah, yeah. Enough of this. If you know, it's still. It needs to be like a four to one ratio. Yeah, like a martini. Four to one or three to one, I think. Yeah, that would be really nice. It's like a martini. But, um, pleasantly surprised. Yeah. Right. Because I, I, I dig this, it. This was basically my reference point. It's like right. oh, it was like a sweet desserty thing, and like barely any kind of, you know, heft or character. That had some heft and character. Still yeah. a low proof, but between the two, still of, like, a blend. This thing blend them together at three to one forty one. Mm -hmm. You got something pretty tasty. Here's a fighting, stealing a drink. If you fight me, I fight for a friend. You steal me, you steal a lover's heart. And if you drink, may, may you drink, drink with us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the whiskey vault. Don't forget to throw on a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.